morning you guys it is tuesday morning we are up in adam it is 4 30. i'm so tired it's 4 30. we're about to load up the car get on the road get to texas we're hoping we can make this like a solid 10 hour drive like really get there in 10 hours um and yeah so hope for the best It is currently almost seven o'clock. Wade's been booking it. <laughs> I got in the car and I fell asleep finally for the last like hour. So we're going, we're about to hit our first rest stop. I got a stretch. Baby's cramping a little bit. Head, I gotta eat. Shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Come on everybody, head. He hasn't even had coffee yet, you guys. He hasn't yeah. had coffee yet. This is just life. Um, delusional at this point. <laughs> what did you find? What's up? What's up, guys? Today we found uh, this old brand of a rain. Just kidding, but seriously, tropical storm rain. We'll give it a shot. What do you think? It's really good. This is honestly, it's like the most, it's like citrusy, but it's the most mellow flavor. That's why I had to like double take it. It's like super mellow. Oh. On a scale of one to 10. Like it's the, it's the most natural, like non-artificial tasting one I've t tasted. So I would say it's maybe the best one. It's not very like super pungent flavorful, but it's like really mellow and good. I'll tell them. Honestly, I like it. It's like you could chug this and not feel like it's, you're drinking something nasty. Bet. Tropical storm. Whoa, dude. Whoa. Okay. Okay. On the road. <laughs> Break. took another nap. I don't know how long I was asleep for, but we have about two hours and 40 minutes to go. We're just doing great. I'm snacking on some fruit. And that's all I got for you guys. That's just, that's the update. We're almost there. Deep in the heart of Texas. I love you. Yes. So as soon as we got home, you guys, I spent time petting Dexter. And then my dad is literally on this backyard project kick and he really wants to get everything done before Saturday when people are over. So we were all outside helping plant things, build things, um, cut wood and stuff. So we got straight to work on the projects, had dinner brought to us at home, and then we watched hockey and I went to bed. It was a very exhausting day, but it is now Wednesday. I am dressed for the gym, because we are gonna go to Alpha Land, and I'm gonna take you guys to Alpha Land. Wade and I always wanna stop by this gym every time we're in Texas, because it's just a really cool gym. Like, even if you're not somebody who 
likes to film or make content. Like if you're in Houston, I think that this is just a really cool place to stop, especially if you're a workout person and you love to lift and you love fun equipment and you love environments and vibes. Elfland is like a must go place when you're here, in my opinion, just saying. And yeah, that's where we're about to go. And so I'll take you guys and I'll show you guys the awesomeness. finished our workout at Alpha Land and of course we had to stop by the shops. Look where I'm at. Ah. I love this place. Do I need anything? No. Do I want something? Yes. And I already grabbed this. I love the seamless sports bra. It's so comfy and it just feels really good and the medium fits like a dream. So we're going to snag this. We're going to look at Anaka. I got to get some merch for some friends. But let's just, let me show you guys how beautiful this place is. This is another must stop kind of place. Look how beautiful. Wow. It makes me wanna make an ass I got slaughtered right now. Yeah, and I came to get down. Come on. <laughs> we just got home and if you heard him, we got salada. Look at this. Look how delicious that is. Panama City needs a salada, but we're gonna eat our lunch chill for a second and then we're gonna get to work outside because like I mentioned earlier, we have a whole backyard transformation to do within the next few days. So, it's gonna be great. Good morning, you guys. It is now Thursday, y'all. Wade and I got back from the gym. We had Salada and then we spent the last six hours working outside. It was insane. Um, it was a lot. My feet were hurting so bad that my mom helped me make like an ice bucket to soak my feet in to help. So, today, my duties are to clean inside the house, which means like dusting, sweeping, maybe some mopping just to get like downstairs ready to go and like party ready. But I wanted to show you guys what we worked on yesterday because it's really cool. So I'm gonna take you outside and I'm gonna show you. So my dad is building an outdoor bar. This is the bottom. So he's gonna put wheels on these four corners, flip it, and then it's like paneled on this side. And then we have to put this countertop on it today. So that's a big project. And then we got our outdoor kitchen in yesterday and the boys unloaded it, brought it out here. So this all has to be put together today as well. And then as you come over here amongst the chaos, this is what Wade and I put together yesterday. We built the, it's three separate pieces. So one here, one here in the corner piece, we built that, built the table built this little thing over here but this is pretty much complete it just needs to be picked up so cozy so nice and then we mulched around our house let's see if I can y'all I've struggled with this gate since I lived here okay so we've been mulching all of this all around here and around the house around to the front and we're almost done with that but not complete it's a lot of mulch and that mulch has to come into the backyard as well. All the way back here, behind the pool over there, and then all in the back by the fence. And then we have a couple plant features up in the front that we have to do as well. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of the work that we did yesterday and the work we still have to do. So the big goal is today is to get the kitchen bar done and the outdoor kitchen built because it's supposed to rain this afternoon. So that's the big goal is just to get all that done probably break down a lot of boxes and get that out of the way so it doesn't get wet and get the mulch laid out before it rains 
and then it'll be like 80% done. Someone woke up this morning saying they wanted to cold plunge. What? Dude. I don't know. Who woke up and said that? I don't know. Yeah, well, our pool is actually pretty cold right now, especially because it hasn't been too, like, I think it rained recently, that's probably why. And it hasn't been hot enough to heat up yet, but we got a cold plunger. It's down, the neck oh, down. Oh, yeah, it's cold. <laughs> cold. Oh, the worst part. Oh, it's cold. How do you feel? Get them traps in. Oh. I also forgot to mention one of the tasks was that my sister repainted these signs and they came out so good. Well, good late, early afternoon. I don't know what time it is, but hello. Welcome to Friday. So yesterday I told you guys we had a lot of work to do outside, which we did, and I built all those stools that I just showed you. My fingers hurt so bad from the Allen wrenches. Like it was so many chairs, but all those chairs are built and they're gonna go outside. They're doing final touches on the bar today. We're gonna mulch a little bit more. And then I think outdoors will be pretty much done, but my task today is to deal with all of the decor. So exciting, we're doing a donut theme. How cute is that? But yeah, my job is just gonna be to organize decorations, put everything together, and that's it. I'm sure. About 10, 15 minutes later, we got a balloon. Bottoms out for her. Who? The stanchion fall out this time. Ready? Ready? Wow! Oh, yeah, bud. Okay. Woo! You want to do it? Like, closer to the. What day is it? Gender reveal 2020! We are in charge of balloons right now. This is all the decor that needs to go up. We're doing some cleaning. This is the cleanest the entryway has been. And then we got this. Yay! Everything is coming together and we got Donut Man. Delts by donuts. So you really get the, you gotta get the form in there and really fill it in the medial delts, you know, and then you switch it up front raises. <laughs> <laughs> and then re re reverse. Wow. Yay! <laughs> Goodbye. Bye bye.
20 okay. countdown. What, five minutes? Something like that, right? Five minutes. Five minutes. Yeah. Team boy. I wore the kicks. Oh, God. It's not, I don't think that's a great idea. Come on, you got to do it right. Just think twice. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Oh, oh. All right, well, here we go, folks. Make sure you don't want to go back up. I won't. I got you. Oh, what are you kicking? Close your eyes and swing. Close your eyes and swing. Oh, my God. <laughs> Congratulations, Gabby. You're a girl, Mom. I knew it. I knew it. I had a feeling it was going to be a girl. What's up, guys? Gab's fit. We're cruising down the road. Hello, you guys. It is Monday. We are currently on this long AF bridge in Louisiana heading home. We didn't really have time to film, like, an ending to this YouTube video after the whole gender reveal. It was just a lot. And it was so great, and it was perfect, it was so fun. What do you think? You it agree? was a great time. Glad we had the opportunity. It was wonderful. It was a lot of fun, you guys, and I hope you enjoyed looking back and watching it and kind of reliving it with us. I'm so glad we were able to document so much because it's going to be so fun to show Baby Girl. And, yeah, I guess the next video is going to probably have to be a combination of week 18 and 19 bump date. And then... We'll share information about our anatomy scan, which is tomorrow, and that's it. So, hope you guys love this video. Make sure you give us a thumbs up. If you loved it, comment below if you knew it was a girl, because apparently a lot of you guys knew it was a girl. And make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any more bump dates. And that's it. Woo! See you next time. Bye-bye.